Okay, so we will start with next point that is how to access structure data members using structure variable and how to store or assign values to the structure data members. That means how to retrieve and how to save the data into structure variables. Clear? For that we can first we create the structure for employee. Suppose struct student struct employee emp employee structure contains data members like employee id every employee having some employee id then employee name and most important is employee salary clear so first suppose employee id which is of type integer next name of the employee that is character and name suppose 50 then load salary of employee this is structure definition we have to create structure for structure employee next structure variable declaration for that there is optional you can create structure variable after this structure definition or inside the main function okay so we have to create one employee e here itself okay that means e is of type e is the structure variable employee id name and salary these are structure data members and what is the data type structure employee this is the data type clear before that you have to include hash include std io.h next header file is hash include tonio.h on io.h header file next after now this e is a type structure employee and we have to create that structure above main function so that structure as well as structure variable is a global one understood we have to create same structure inside the main function and if we create the structure inside the main function then it becomes local that means we have only created the structure variable inside the main function not outside the main function clear so this structure definition is global that means we can create object globally or structure variable globally or inside the main function okay so after that void main now what is our task runtime we want to store employee id name and salary means we assign the values to employee variable e okay for that first clear screen after that print name first we want to scan employee id so enter employee id slash n double quotes complete semicolon next scan f now we want to store employee id where in employee id data member of structure employee so use percentage in so percentage d comma and for sign off how to access data members of the structure using structure variable dot operator e dot employee id so write e dot employee id parenthesis semicolon complete clear so next next we want to scan name from user and store where inside the name and so take the values from user right printf enter name 
slash n double quotes complete semicolon after that scan f for scanning the string character array in string so what is the format in yes. format specify percentage yes. s okay if it is a character array or string yeah. no need to write ampersand, ampersand. so you only e dot name don't write ampersand here and if you want to write ampersand then ampersand of e dot name of zero okay because e dot name itself gives you base address of the array where we want to store that string okay next third that is print n enter salary slash n double quote complete next scan f percentage f float ampersand where we want to store yeah. in the salary data member of structure emd using structure variable e so use e dot salary so use e dot salary don't use space okay e dot salary next this is all about how we can scan the string or scan the data members of the structure employee at the run time okay so after that we want to display whole record in the format what is the format so first employee id then name then salary okay below the employee id print employee id one suppose one name suppose x y z and salary whatever may be the salary clear so print the data below that employee id name and salary for that use printf printf clear so first step print slash t slash t for four spaces after that employee id slash t after that name slash t after that salary double quote complete slash n okay next next line print the data first what is first employee id so write slash t percentage d slash t percentage name for s slash t salary is in the float percentage f double quotes complete comma how to print employee id of e variable e so write e dot employee id comma e dot name second name comma e dot salary parenthesis complete semicolon last step is get ch ch and complete the main function that is all about how to scan the data for structure variable means how to store the data into ram using dot operator and how to retrieve here using this printf statement we have to retrieve the data from the ram how to save data into ram and how to retrieve data from the ram using structure variable using structure variable when we want to access structure data members use dot operator clear okay memory management this is ram now in whole program there is only one variable okay only one variable that is e e is the structure variable only one variable so memory management is done only for the variables these are structure data members these are not structure variable what is structure variable e is a structure variable so at the compile time for e memory management is done and what is the storage class for the e it is a global okay we cannot declare e inside the main if we declare inside the main it becomes the local variable and local variable memory management is done on the stack partition if the variable is global 
then memory management is done on the global partition of your RAM. So for E, how many bytes are reserved for E? 50 plus 2 plus 4. Total 56 bytes block is reserved and block is consumed between locations. Means select, lagat asta, ekadra block. So E, for that E, what is how to memory management E dot? Employee ID, then E dot. Name, name starts from index 0 to e dot name of 49 and last one is the e dot salary. Total object name or structure variable name is e. Clear? Now, when you run the program, program starts executing from main. First clear screen, that means whole screen get clear. After that, what is the message? Enter. First is enter. Employee ID. This is the first message. Clear. Person clicking here. For what? Employee ID. Suppose you enter 1 and press enter. Then that 1 is moved to which address location? Address of E dot name. So where is the address of E dot? E dot employee ID here. So one is moved here. Clear? After that, next statement, enter name. Message is print. Enter name. Okay, message is displayed on the console. Then cursor is blinking. For scanf statement, for string, suppose user enters x, y and z and press enter. That x, y, z string moves to the E dot name. E dot name means Address of e dot name of zero location. So x y z and slash zero is the end of the string. Next, after that enter salary. This is message get printed. After that percentage f cursor is blinking for salary. Suppose salary is nine zero 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 dot nine zero. So this is in the float, this salary is saved at the address of E of E dot salary. So E dot salary 90000.90. So salary is saved in the salary. So this is the total record. Okay. Employee ID, name and salary. This is the total record of one employee. And that total record we have to store into single entity or variable that is E. So that means non-homogeneous data elements they have to store into single entity called as structure variable. Understood what is the structure, what is the use of structure? After that, retrieving the data from the memory. In this view, by using printf and scanning, we have to save the data into employee record that is E. Now we want to retrieve that data. Okay, for that e dot employee ID, e dot name and e dot salary means dot operator is used. First structure variable dot structure data member. Structure variable dot structure data members. Okay. Using dot operator we retrieve the data from RAM and print on the screen. So after that last two statements means <coughs> Employee ID, then tab in some spaces, then name, tab, some spaces, salary. After that, on the next line, slash n, in the next line, what is the employee ID? 1, what is the name? X, Y, Z, and what is the salary? 90000.90. This is the whole record is displayed on your screen. Clear? That is all about how to define structure for employee. This is the structure EMP, that is structure data type. These are the structure data members. E is called as structure variable. To structure variable, how we can assign the values to the structure data members and how we can retrieve the structure data members. For that, structure variable dot structure data members. That is the form. If string is there, that is character array, don't use ampersand. 
Clear? So today we will stop here.